What's the best decision you've ever made? WHW when I was 9, my mom asked me if I wanted to come and see her get a blood test she was trying to desensitize me to blood I originally said no because I was playing a game, but then I decided to go because I felt bad not spending time with my mom. After my mom got her blood tested, the doctor noticed I had a large lump on my neck, he was concerned and asked my mom to make an appointment for me. It turns out I had a goiter disease caused by hypothyroidism. If I decided to just play my game that day instead of going to the doctors with my mom, I would probably be dead. Moving to the Netherlands from Australia in the middle of the pandemic. My life is insanely different right now. If you would have told me in January 2020 that by the end of the year I'd be in Holland I would have called you crazy but it happened. Went from single, no job and needing a new home broke up with ex after 15 years together, to happy new relationship. High paying job that sends me to Switzerland regularly, enough money and holiday time to go on trips multiple times a year, and a new set of awesome friends all within a year in my new country. Quit my job in China, moved to Vegas with a friend to develop the project we designed, fell in love with said colleague, bought a house, studio, opened our business. Literally all of my dreams came spiraling through after smoking some weed in Nepal with my 10 year friend colleague when we decided to quit our very established careers. China Dubai and throw our whole lives into our passion project. Now I'm married to my best friend and live in a dream house, run two businesses and a foundation, and always have time to spend with my amazing wife and our puppy. Going to a large university 7 hours from home instead of going to the small school an hour from home. I wouldn't have enjoyed the college experience nearly as much. Going away helped me learn so much more about myself and helped me to realize so much more of what I wanted in the world. If I had stayed home I probably would have moved back to my hometown when I was done and I'd say it's probably 50-50 if I would have married my high school girlfriend. Not sure life would have been terrible, but I know my life is better now than if I had stayed home. Not listening to my parents' advice about taking the first job offer I could find, and being picky. I love my current job, it's something I wanted to do ever since I was 5-6 years old and I earn more than my parents combine each of them with 30 years of experience in their field while I have less than 2 years while also having super flexible working hours. I'm so damn happy I was picky and ended up where I am now. Getting my amazing pupper, Spud the Whippet. After leaving a horrible, toxic ship, my self-worth was in the gutter and I sank into a deep depression. For over a year, I barely ate, washed, functioned. And then when I was a little better, I got Spud and she has made me a lot better. She has taught me unconditional love, the unwavering sense of belief in myself she has never disappointed in me and that life is worth living for myself, as well as her. Not listening to my parents' advice about taking the first job offer I could find, and being picky. I love my current job, it's something I wanted to do ever since I was 5-6 years old, and I earn more than my parents combine each of them with 30 years of experience in their field while I have less than 2 years while also having super flexible working hours. I'm so damn happy I was picky and ended up where I am now. Honestly, getting my vasectomy. Finally got one when I was 29, I'm 31 now. I knew since I was a teenager that I didn't want kids, even adopted one so I made an appointment, got snipped, made absolutely sure I was completely empty after the 3 month checkup and my wife and I have never had a pregnancy scare once. Thanks to my work insurance it was only 45 bucks rather than 1000. We're perfectly fine with our cats. I was very religious. Not evangelical, but a believer in a God that you have to fear and respect and worship in some form. I decided to read some books that go against all my beliefs. I came out realizing how silly those beliefs are and it felt like the light suddenly came on and the monsters were gone. It changed my entire worldview and it's the best thing that ever happened to me. I found a US Army grenade simulator as a kid. It had a pull string. I held it and was going to pull it but changed my mind. Instead I tied it to tree and got more string until it I had about 10 feet. It blew a hole in the pine tree about the size of python and about 2 inches deep. The cops came. I would have lost my hand or worse. The year was 1968. Getting a vasectomy. I have one child, but he has several siblings on his mom's side and we are not together. He absolutely thrives having one parent who can give him 100. He also gets the best of both worlds with a huge happy family and a nice quiet little slice of solitude and the only child treatment when he needs it. Never regretted it once. Leaving my first wife. She was an overt narcissist with psychotic tendencies and the most extreme level of jealousy I have ever encountered. 
I could be having a conversation with friends and their wives while trying hard to include her, only for her to accuse me of flirting and starting a physical fight over my denial only minutes later. Not of children. And I say that with all the love and respect for the people that do. And I'm not saying I never will. But I've been able to do so much and still have that freedom without the real responsibilities, plus I have a ton of nieces and nephews and when you get older people of kids you date so yay! That's mine. Checking myself into rehab. I was 23 and completely hopeless. With the way I was abusing substances, I probably wouldn't have survived another 6 months to a year, whether by overdose or suicide. Now, I'm over 5.5 years sober and my life is full, rich, successful and happy. It was the hardest decision I ever made, and the best one. Quit letting misery, pessimism and cynicism guide how I lived. Quit making massive assumptions about huge groups of people. Realize that purpose, happiness and opportunity are things that you create. You can't just wait for things to get better. If you're not doing something to make them better, things stay exactly as they are. Deciding that I didn't want to be an asshole. By nature I'm something of an asshole and I have to work hard every day to choose to stop and say nah that's not who I want to be. I then think to myself, based on advice Riker gave Wes, what would Picard do? And I do that instead of what my gut tells me to. I got a PhD in management in a top institution. I had no idea ahead of time but now I make 6 figures and have job stability. I went from making $40,000 to $120,000. Changed my life. BTW. This doesn't work for PhDs in other fields. PhDs in most other fields make less money and cannot secure tenure track jobs. To enlist in the Navy at 27 years old. My life was going nowhere and I needed to do something. Didn't always enjoy being in, but I did 8 years. Traveled completely around the world, got a degree, and transitioned my Navy job to civilian and I'm doing pretty good for myself overall now. Got accepted at 2 universities. The fancy private school for dollar and state university for dollar. Went to the state university and by year two was able to get scholarships and graduate with very little debt. I think it has gone the other route I'd still be paying off the school loans. Choosing to let go and experience the world. I was working in the city for a few years and then I moved to rural area by myself. I know I'm going to be lonely but I have been making better money. PR approval soon hopefully and trying to upskill and finally do my PhD or MD, angelic face. In 2012 I got an offer from Amazon. It meant leaving Arizona and all my friends and family to move to Seattle. I stressed about it for a long time and finally decided to take it for a year and then move home. Met a girl my first week here and married her 5 years later. Not having kids. My wife and I are very happy. We have all the benefits of dual income no kids. We have time to ourselves. Way less stress and we're on track to retire early. Nobody needs to have kids. Think it through. Your life could be infinitely better without kids. My husband. Fighting through the hard times together. Making it work. Enjoying it. Laughing together. He is my teammate and I couldn't imagine life without him. As we age I find I'm getting more and more worried about losing him. I just can't imagine. Unprotected sex. I now have a daughter, and she's the best thing that ever happened to me. We were together for 11 years when my partner got pregnant. I am not advising casual unprotected sex. I only phrase it that way because the pregnancy was not planned. Broke up with my horrible now ex-boyfriend of 5 years. It's been a while since we've been broken up. Now with my soulmate, and he's everything I've ever wanted in a great guy, who loves communicating and stable relationship. It will be 6 months very soon. Smiling face with heart. Moving away from my hometown I've never felt so free to grow and be myself. I can look at the world with fresh eyes not influenced by those around me and the way I was raised. My wife and I have never been happier with our lives than we are in a new city. Getting sober from drugs and alcohol and recovering from my head. I thought these things were my crutches for survival but I realized they were destroying my body and my soul. No matter how hard it can get at times, recovery is always always worth it. I bought some Magic the Gathering cards when they first came out. I put them in a box and forgot about them. I sold them to a very good friend later to pay for my wife's engagement ring. Luckily, she said yes or I would have bought them all back. Paid off my house before my first child was born. Completed my graduate degree while my employer paid for it. Borrowed 200k to renovate my house while interest rates were at 2.5. Invested half my income in the stock market over the past 10 years. After my relationship failed at age 18, 
I took the time to look at what went wrong thoroughly. Turns out that I don't like being in a relationship to begin with. I'm 40 now, never dated again, never looked back. Bonus we are still close friends. Heading to my local flying club. I've always wanted to be a pilot, had some highs and lows through the years. Now I'm working towards a license. Yeah I'll make money doing this someday, but for right now, I am happy. Happier than I've ever been. Moving to Canada. I know a lot of people here complain how the cost of living has become but things are worse in other parts of the world. After moving here, I'm finally able to afford a lot of things I couldn't before and was depriving myself of. So far, leaving university where I studied language and staying home for a year to learn music and then applying to a conservatory. I don't know how it will turn out but I got in and I'm much happier. The last two years just weren't the best. Started playing Destiny back in 2016. Probably the reason I didn't off myself 2020-2021-ish. Promised myself I could off myself after the story concluded. In half a year that promise goes out. And I'm so far from wanting to do it now. Stop entertaining DMs requests that starts with hi baby or smth similar. Or like before I reply I take a look at their friend lists or followings. If it's all girls only, ain't replying. I'm experiencing so much peace now haha. <laughs> Once I was hungry. I had two frozen pizzas. At first, I thought about making one and eating it, then making the second one afterwards. But then I thought why not making them simultaneously and putting one on top of the other, 